guys, Zuljan here. I'm sorry, Squish, I didn't mean to make you hit your head, baby. Welcome back to another episode of Pixar. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. I know, Squishy. I'm, I'm gonna tell him, y'all. We have something bad to report. All right, it's pretty grim, actually. <sighs> Yeah, squishy. So, a T-Rex came down last night when I was AFK. I was walking my dog, and I didn't seal up the stairs. This has been temporary for a long time, and I haven't taken care of it, right? Yeah, I know, squishy. I should have taken care of it, but it bit me in the butt last night. I came back uh, to find a T-Rex down here chomping on everything that was left. Uh, Cayenne and Talon actually killed it, finished it off, uh, but not before it ate everything else except for Squishy. Wow. I know, it's it's bad. So, Squishy wanted to do a little memorial service, just temporary. We're going to set this new decoration up that we got here just to remind us that uh, we really need to fix it. It's it's a little bit morbid, but it represent it represents what we supposed to uh, what, what 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 we lost anyway. Um, did you did you want to say something, uh, Squishy baby? Da, 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 oh no, Squishy, da, 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 Squishy, da, 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 not da, not tap, Squishy. Da, 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 no, Squishy. Da, 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 da. That's enough, Squishy. I'm. Oh no, we're not gonna do the whole taps thing, Squishy. Oh boy. Anyway, <laughs> so I've decided to take it upon myself, you guys, to fix my little temporary issue and build something up top. We probably won't be able to build uh, anything up top today, but I did want to get an entrance secured for my dinos and. For me to be able to do that, there's only a couple dinos that are large enough to worry about this staircase, and that was one of the deals. Everything else could come down here if I had a regular old gate, but there's a few things like the gargoyle, the T-Rex, and things of that nature uh, that can't fit there. So, what I thought I would do is build a pathway out here. That way, uh, we can have uh, all of our dinos come in through a behemoth gate, and it doesn't look like such an eyesore on top, and we can actually do... Uh, a pretty looking build up there, you know? Uh. Yeah, yeah, I think it, well, I, I think it's going to be pretty squishy. Anyway, I want to do something like a temple or a courtyard or something like that that um, that's relatively secure, but that doesn't have a like a 30-foot a high gate in front of it. Uh, so anyway, what I want to do is um, I think I'm just going to lay out ceilings like I'm doing here, and let's see if I can line it up. It's a little bit tough, but when you have a little baseline to go off of, it's a little bit easier like that. So, I'm going to go halfway here because, well, if I went the full way, I really, I mean, there's nothing that I have. Like, ghost dragons, anything that I've seen in the game, T-Rexes, Mega Rock Dragons, all of that stuff can fit through half the size of this gate. <laughs> like, a T-Rex will be able to fit in here no problem. So, if we ever have to lower it or, or whatever, we could do that. But uh, for now, I'm just going to have half the gate. And I do believe that this comes out. I'm going to go ahead and build all the way out. I believe it comes out very, very close to even with the shoreline. Let's, um, actually, let's just place another row here. And then we can open this up and I'll see where it goes well. We can't open it up with a block in our hands, actually. All right. So, yeah, it's going to be very close to wherever the shoreline's at. And it doesn't matter if it's um, if it if it comes out all the way or not. I'm probably going to uh, just put dirt uh, the rest of the way or whatever up into the gate. Uh, that way we'll be able to... I'll do some sort of land bridge or something like that as well. Um, that way we'll be able to just come in and um, and go out as we please so it should be fine uh, but that's that's the plan at least so I have quite a bit of bridging to do um, I'm gonna go ahead and bridge this off and we're gonna make a makeshift tunnel I believe I don't think we're gonna need to do anything spectacular for walls I kind of like being able to see the side entrances and stuff um, 
well, the sides of the cave walls and stuff. So I'm probably just going to do some sort of rails, nicer than the stone bars that I I currently have right here. I'm probably going to have to put uh, regular rails or whatever, um, or maybe even just some half walls with some rails on top and some lighting. I don't know. Uh, whatever keeps the spawns out will be fine. Um, and then uh, as far as getting our tames back, I'm definitely going to do something on stream. I'm probably just going to retame a bunch of stuff. Uh, normally, I try to make progress on videos that you guys haven't seen before, and y'all have seen me tame almost everything that I have already once, if not twice. Um, so I'll retame everything and build a more secure area. At any rate, uh, let me go ahead and floor this off, you guys. So guys, Squishy and I have been hard at work, and we got a lot of work done. Wouldn't you think so, Squishy? Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I thought it was a lot of hard work. You probably didn't do nothing. <laughs> yeah, just you just along for the ride. So I uh, ended up flattening it all out except for this part and making a little deal for a stairway down. I just picked up some stairs, and I sealed in the bottom. I wanted to do some windows right here. So... Let's quickly, uh, let's quickly put that together. Let's see. Stairs and walls. Okay. I need to chop these three out. I'm not really going to do a frame or anything for them. I thought the stone would suffice, but I got to put ceilings right here in order to place the walls down. Not the bow, the glass. There we go. And I figured this would look pretty good. As just a way to look outside before I end up stepping outside. <laughs> just in case there's some bad hombres out there. Uh... Come on, man. Beautiful. Alright, so now we got the little glass partition. That tells us a little bit about what's going on outside. I might be able to do that right there, too. Well, it kind of leaves room for the frame. I don't know. I'll mess with the design later, but... You go ahead and open it up, and it leads out all the way to here. So I started running some more ceilings. Not that I was tired of placing them or anything, can't hint. Um, but I decided, I was like, you know, that Gigantopithecus drawbridge, this would probably be a great place for it, you know? Because A, it keeps the waterway open to where you can still access it by boat. Not that many people use boats. And that part right there, I don't know why you would want to use it by boat anyway. Because you can't get there. But hey, I think a Gigantopithecus drawbridge would be awesome, right? <laughs> so I want to grab one. I want to see what they're all about anyway. And uh, we, we're going to be able to do a lot of stuff uh, with this water feature and stuff. But I'm, I'm really glad this came out this way. Now the bottom here is a little bit tricky. Uh, I didn't really know what to do about it, but I wanted I knew I wanted to be able to access it. So I ended up just digging out a little bit so that you can access it by something larger if we would happen to come down here. Say we wanted to explore the caves or go tame in with a land mount. You know, we could just come down these stairs right here. So I just built a wall and kind of lined up my stairs. And I think I'll just be able to place them like so. Hopefully they don't get damaged all the time like my other ones. But hey... We're, we're going to have that figured out soon, you guys. Very soon. I am not going to have that issue for long, I assure you. This um, this past thing taught me a lesson, and we would hate to hear Squishy sing that stupid tap song. Da, da, da. Squishy, no, not again. Okay. <laughs> God, I thought she was going to go through with the whole thing again. Uh, all right. Anyway. Um, so <laughs> let's... Let's get these stairs down, and I should have, yeah, another stack. All right. Okay. And this, I think, is just going to need to be walled in. Or it could just slope. It wouldn't look terrible as a slope, I don't guess. I'm so used to uniform, I need to get over that. <laughs> Let's see here. We'll just take a little bit off the top. Kind of give it a natural slope. Alright. Yeah, I think it looks good just like that. Let's do this and this. I can actually do corner right there, but I'm going to break these open and put stone in here. Alright. 
Now it's pretty gradual. I'll be all right. It kind of looks foo-foo, but I don't know. I might work on it a little bit later. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to have to put some rails down and stuff, but I don't know what kind of rails I'm going to do yet. And I'm not particularly in love with just a flat floor here. Uh, I'm going to be doing some floor designs, but I'm kind of waiting on um, Darkwood. Uh, Darkwood requires silver for the building components, so it's a little bit expensive. Uh, so as soon as I get down and mine some silver, uh, it'll be good. I lost my magic mole, uh, so we're going to have to possibly put together a, um, a another magic mole, another whiskers, or a mega rock dragon uh, when I do have the ability to craft a saddle for it. At any rate, I think I want to go out to the winter biome and tame a... Um, a Gigantopithecus. So I'm going to grab up some stuff for you guys and I'll meet y'all in the winter biome. So I'm just about to the winter biome, but I wanted to show you guys something based on something that I saw last night. I was uh, watching my buddy John Bain stream and uh, he ended up, he was looking for gray berries and I had found them a little while back, kind of like the orange berries. It's a different looking plant. So if you look around in the dark forest, there's these kind of plants. They look different than the traditional, um, oh, well, the plants over there. <laughs> so anyway, these give you gray berries. And you can, in fact, get the, um, you can, in fact, get the seeds from them. If I could go somewhere that there aren't any spore shrooms like that. Dang it. It slows you down so much when you get by them or when they hit you. You got to stay pretty far away. There we go. All right, there's ghost dragons and all kinds. Ah, there's another sports room. Evasive maneuvers, man. Yeah, the sports rooms are nasty. Okay. I think you could plant those in cursed soil, too. Maybe even in a, um, in a, uh, what you call, a plant. One of the, uh, the planters. Uh, so let's take out the handy dandy Mastercraft sickle. And it looks like we just got gray berries from that one. Careful. Stay away from the ghost dragons. I'm going to get one eventually. I actually found the saddle for one. I just am not quite ready to tame it. Got to watch this uh, spectral wolf. Come on, give me a seed, man. Yeah, there we go. One seed. It's not too much, but you can get them. Uh, the orange plants are pretty... Uh, the orange berries are uh, really rare, too. And I've been looking for green berries as well. But I haven't... Um, I haven't had the luxury of finding those. So if you guys know where I can find green berries, uh, let me know. I would love to hear it. See, these are the regular old berries that you find in, um, in the dark forest. All of these plants that you see here, they just yield regular old seeds. Like Tinto berries and Medjo berries and stuff like that. All right. There's a Giganto right there. Uh, Slip was telling me that him and John did some testing and that levels don't really matter. Uh, <laughs> like at all. So I've been wanting to look at one of these guys too. These little ice dragons. I don't know if they're good shoulder pets or whatever. I mean, don't worry. I'm not replacing you, Squishy. So uh, let's see what we can do with this Giganto. I brought some wheat. I think they tame best with vegetables. Of course, we're probably going to have to dig a hole for it because everything is going to go after it. <laughs> Maybe we ought to find one a little bit closer. So I could probably... Did it finish it? Oh, the wolf killed it, actually. Trash. I don't know how strong they are, <laughs> honestly. I don't think they're that incredibly strong. Okay, there's another one. Good. Oh, there's a Quetzal. I've been wanting one of those, too. I don't know how fast they fly or how powerful they are, but I, uh, I'm definitely interested. Gotta watch that Lotus. That Lotus will get you. Okay, first things first, let's see. This appears to be a pretty safe area, except for this lotus. Man. 
1,000 hit points so far. 1,400, 1,600, 1,800. <laughs> Got the Ancient Lotus Seed, though. Wonderful. All right, there's two of them actually here. All right, let's take a uh, let's whistle passive just in case and we'll go ahead and take our wheat. Uh, it's already on the hot board. Actually, I'm going to take um, my saber root first because I have less of that. Uh, I think they're both the same. Well, vegetables are vegetables, you know. All right, this one's only a level 9, but like I said it shouldn't matter. They're going to be in the that gum bridge anyway. All right. Beat saber root. Okay, it looks like it's about ten percent is what it gave it. Maybe a little bit less. Maybe a little bit more. But right around ten percent. So probably ten feedings. You just gotta be very, very careful. You know. <laughs> I think I'm just about in the home stretch, guys. Oh. I didn't ask you, Squishy. I'm pretty sure it's going to take like one or two more wheat to f tame this guy. Whoo! The level nine, I actually got attacked. I was trying to tame both this one and a level nine, and uh, it actually went. It went away. <laughs> it got. Uh, it got sidetracked by one of those little frost dragons. Yay, we got him! Bartholomew. <laughs> Bartholomew. Welcome, Bartholomew. Are you a female? Please tell me you're a... Oh, you're a fee. That's terrible. Bar Bartholomew? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so we can ride you. Pretty cool. Nice. Pretty much the same. Can we? Oh yeah! Haha. <laughs> um, so can we put a helmet on you? Mm -mm. Uh, you do have a saddle slot. No. <laughs> Apparently not. Okay. So we're gonna pix block you right now. Oh, first of all, can you gather? Let's see. I do want to test this out really quick. You can't gather trees. Alright, well, maybe not. I wonder if you gather fiber when you're on wandering. Uh, let's see. Enable wandering. And... I don't think the wandering mechanics are in the game yet. Oh, they are. Okay. But you still don't gather anything. Alright. <laughs> well, maybe not. Uh, disable wandering and convert to pix block. It's a nice that uh, they don't have a saddle. There's, there's actually a really good thing about animals not having a saddle. The saddles, they are nice to have, but they aren't extremely important anymore due to the, um, the, the recent change in armor values and stuff. So I really don't mind if it doesn't have a saddle now. It's easier to carry around in pix block form and stuff. So I'm going to head back to the base. We got to look at this Gigantopithecus drawbridge. All right, guys, so I went ahead and made the Gigantopithecus drawbridge. It's just iron, wood, and leather. It's not really that bad. I'm going to get a drink here. I added these doors, hoping that I would get the home buff. Um, and I still don't. <laughs> I don't know why my house is is not. There's there's definitely issues with the home buff. But anyway, um, you get a little home buff, and it helps with insulation and all that other stuff. Um, so you don't have to worry about changing clothes and everything inside. All righty. Let's see what we got here. Gigantopithecus drawbridge. Wow. Um, okay. It appears that it has to be... Ha, uh, this is going to be fun to place. This is going to be fun to place. I think this is... Um, this is where it would have to go. We'd have to put two down, maybe? Man, I don't know. I mean, I don't mind putting it down. This looks probably about center, right? Let's just do it. Can we pick it back up? Of course not. 
<laughs> of course not. Okay, but it's up. Um, oh, wow. You have to actually jump up. Dang. This thing looks cool as heck, though. So, yeah, you would have to go all the way across. Um, well, you'd have to put another Giganto bridge. I don't know. I'm thinking that I might just put, like, a portion of the bridge out. I really don't know. Uh, but we can definitely get in. So, do I need two Gigantos to actually run this? I think I might. I think I might. Let's let Bartholomew it. <laughs> All right. And um, let's give you some berries so that you don't... Uh, well, we don't have much berries, son. Do you eat gray berries? I don't know. It doesn't look like you eat gray berries. We're gonna have to get you some real berries, Bartholomew. But let's uh, let's capture Giganto. Uh, it doesn't render in. Did you not capture him? Capture Giganto. Okay. Release Giganto, rename Bigfoot Bridge, or demolish. Okay, release Giganto Pithecus is E. Hold for more options. It doesn't allow you to... I wonder if you have to hit this. No, release Giganto, or hold more options. Unless you need two of them to really do this, I really know. I mean... It's kind of like the oil uh, rig, right? Like, uh, I mean, the um, the slime incubator. I don't know though. It, uh, I, I, it's weird. Do I really need a second one to do this? Oh man. Yeah. Uh oh, is right. So I flew out here and started messing with this level nine. Giganto and it ended up aggroing on one of those little ice dragons again and uh, I, You know before I did it again. I was like because I almost had attained. I was like, you know what? Let me look up this Gigantopithecus gate and see if there's any bug reports on it and on uh, Like 10 days ago. There was a bug report saying that it didn't work Even with two Gigantos. So hey, we did get a Giganto. We got the bridge up but I'm all the way out here, and I said I was going to tame an ice elemental. I brought some magic arrows and some regular arrows anyway, just in case. But while I was looking for an ice elemental, look what I found. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a Quetzal. That has been, well, that just flew into the wall. Now, I'm pretty sure if I hit him, he's going to bolt. So, my plan is to try to trap him <laughs> with, uh, with blocks. I don't know what I have here. I have some stone, so that will probably work. Let's see what I can do here. Um, hmm, I don't even know how to go about this, man. Probably just something like this, huh? Something like this. Alright. Uh, maybe working from the bottom up, to tell you the truth. This is kind of a doozy, man. Kind of a doozy. Okay, if I go straight down, I should be able to build right behind him. Alright, let's do that. I don't know what his hitbox looks like, but... This will probably be... Okay! <laughs> Alright. Let's just build up right quick. Please don't knock me off, Mr. Quetzal. All right. Okay. That's a uh, sort of a cage. It's coming. <laughs> Uh, this is the ugliest cage I've ever built, but I think I got him encased. I ran out of stone, so I switched to dirt, and then I ran out of dirt, so I switched to snow, and I ran out of snow, so I switched to clay, and without trying to dig too much around him, you know, because I didn't want to hit him and spook him, um, I, I, I don't see any holes bigger than one wide. 
I, I just started placing blocks all over the place. And sometimes his wings would move me and I'd place all over the place. I did my best. Uh, I even did a little bit of scaffolding and stuff to prevent me from falling too far. Um, so anyway, this is... Here we go, man. Let's try it. I don't even have any thigh meat on me. I don't think there's anything in this biome that gives me thigh meat. Possibly? I really don't know. But um, this is what I'm going to try to do. I think I'm just going to go in from here. Because I don't need a real big space, right? Let me put my uh, my little headlamp on so you guys could see. He's somewhere in here. Oh, I think this is it. Ha ha! That's right, Squishy. We found him, baby. All right. This guy doesn't attack or anything. Let's make sure we have regular sleepy arrows on the boar. I really hope this is enough. I'm going to pause every five seconds. And let's try it. Uh, Did my game just crash? Don't tell. Oh, there is. Okay. 20 damage. But I hadn't, I hadn't drawn back all the way. Wow. This might be pretty rough, actually. Is this a magic creature by any chance? No, nope, normal creature. Okay. I don't think we'll be able to get any headshots in. Maybe. Maybe if we, uh, if we get close enough to... Uh-oh. Well, now he's going to try to move for sure. Okay. Um, still no ability for headshots. I don't think there's any way I'm going to be able to get headshots on this guy. Uh, let's see. Oh my god, I only have one clay block left. I need more blocks. What do I have left? I have a little bit of ice. All right. Oh, I'm going to use my scaffolding that I built out here. Oh! Okay. Maybe. Just maybe. I, I hope he doesn't knock me off and I just ate rotten meat. Yeah, turn around somewhere so I can get you, man. Turn around somewhere so I can get you. And it's down. Holy crap. I was starting to think I'd run out of arrows. 60 arrows to bring this guy down. All right. Uh, I should have some regular meat here. If I can get out of this hole. <laughs> Talon. Talon, baby. Tell me you got some good meat on you. You don't have any thigh meat. I mean, since you're down, I think I might just go and grab some really quick. I wonder if the gi the gi no, the Gigantos won't give it. Yeah, I think, uh, how far are we from the border to the next biome, too? I don't know if werewolves give it either. Hmm, I would probably have to fly south all the way down. Ah, I hate to do it. I tell you what, I'm gonna record my coordinates, go get some thigh meat. Let's see, where am I? I am at 1357, negative 16, negative 1357, 1693. I'm just gonna screenshot that, head south so I don't get lost here. Try to get some thigh meat. Ooh, possibly, uh, bears. Possibly the bears. There's an ice elemental. Possibly the ice bears. Yes, 25 meat. Oh, yeah. Access. Thigh meat. 
There we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Eat up. <laughs> yeah. First Quetzal, baby. King of the sky. Achievement get. I'm going to pix block you because I do not have your saddle. Uh, or a saddle for you yet. I have a saddle at the house. Actually, I found a pretty good one, I think. Uh, let's see. Wow. 4,300 hit points. Uh, what's your stamina at? 800? Probably gonna have to work on that. I don't know how fast you go, but I'm definitely interested. Uh, let's see. Oh, don't tell me you can't pix block them. Don't tell me. Do I just have to get close? You can't pix block them. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I'm just gonna have it fly, but I gotta take down this stupid cage first. Dang it, Bobby! Oh, I think we out. I think we out. Yeah, we made it. Sweet. Come down here, Talon. <laughs> Come pick me up, babe. Oh, look at you. Look at you! You are a cutie patootie. Hold up. Come on, you gotta get out of there, baby. I just saw you get out. Uh-huh. Sweet! Onwards to the house! Home sweet home. With our broken giganto bridge. <laughs> broken giganto drawbridge. Oh, it's good to be back, though. I ran into some ghost dragons early and it got kind of scary. Can you fit through there, Quet? No. The Quetzal can't fit through there. Uh, I think the Giganto Drawbridge is coming up, you guys. I think it is coming up. Let's see here. Uh, release Giganto. There we go. And demolish. It didn't cost that many materials. I can always do it again later. Bartholomewet, come on. Come on in. Um, can you not fit through here? Tell me you could fit through there. I will be so upset. Oh, thank goodness. All right, stop right there. Stop right there. Let me close this door before a T-Rex comes in here and wreck everything I ever loved. Oh, man. All right. At least we got place for these guys now. All right. Bartholomew, you stay here for just a minute. Me and Squishy's going to get the Quetzal saddle. Oh, sheesh. I know, Squishy. I don't even know my way around here. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I have it in rares, I believe. Two Quetzal saddles. I got a normal one and a journeyman. 8.1 armor. Or 5.6. Yeah, we're definitely going to go with the 8.1. Alright. <sighs> Can't believe, man. <laughs> that the Giganto Bridge does not work. Okay. I don't know what to name the Quetzal either. But here we go. Oh, Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, I gotta see. I gotta be able to test this guy out. Let's get out here in the open. Beautiful. Okay, I love that I can access it either way. You know. Okay, forty-two ninety-six on the health. Probably in range of where the um, the actual Griffin is. You know, uh, in that same category, so to speak, or the same tier. I don't know what wild griffins are. Oh, by the way, I did pick up a uh, <laughs> a, a new nippy on the way back, an ice elemental. All right, what's your weight? 313 out of 1224. That is a decent weight. Okay, so attack is just what you would think it was. And right click, you should be able to pick stuff up. That's very nice. And let's see if we got a C or an X. No, it does not look like it, a C or an X. Um... Stamina looks like is going to be an issue. So we're going to go ahead and raise it. We got 80 points at a time, so that's not bad. Let's try to take on this Argent. He's not the fastest critter in the world. 115 at a time. Oh, his hitbox is really good, though. I was afraid it would be a little bit more pinpoint than that. So we're going to have to bring that up a little bit. 
but all in all, it's pretty good. And we could put a platform saddle on this guy. Um, what exactly is the platform saddle? It's probably on the industrial. Quetzal platform saddle is level 70, and I am level 69 with a whole level to go. Oh, man. We might have to go for that next time, guys. Uh, I'm not sure, but that's going to be it for today. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, give me some dap on that like button and show your support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos and squishy singing. Da, 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 no. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, this is Ulgen signing off, and we'll see you next time.